Miss Lexington, this is my daughter Marley. Marley, say hello to our neighbor. She came over to welcome us. Hi, Miss Lexington. Um, Mom, did I get a letter last week? Nice to meet you, Marley. You're going to college? That's great, congratulations. Marley, now is not the time we have company. I got a call from Howard administration saying that they sent a letter of acceptance last week. Marley, chemotherapy costs a lot of money. I need your help around the house and help with your little sister. Mom, I can help from college. Marley, I said no. I'm sorry, Miss Lexington. My daughter has no manners. No, no apologies needed. Marley, what do you want to study in college? With all due respect, my daughter will not be going to college. I will be studying botany and- You dare disobey me in my home? I said no, Marley. Miss Dubois, as you said, chemotherapy is very expensive. Why not let Marley go to college so she can get a better job to support the family? College is too expensive. I moved here in hopes she would let go of that silly dream. I want to own my own health clinic. How is that a silly dream if it's in my family's best interest? I just have to put myself first this time, Mom. Then you are not welcome here. No, wait just a minute, Mr. Dubois. Miss Lexington, you seem very kind, but this is family affairs. Yes, indeed. However, I'd like to pay for your chemotherapy. And for Marley's college. What? Why? Why would you do that? You don't even know us. I own a clinic down the street from where I live, and I help many cancer patients recover without chemo. And I could use Marley's help around the space, and in turn, pay her tuition in full. Mom, please say yes. I just want you to believe in me. I believe in you, baby girl. I, I'm so sorry for being so selfish. Cancer is an awful process, and I just want my children with me always. Miss Lexington, thank you so much for all your help. You're really saving my family. In order for us to succeed, we must help each other. I'll make the preparations for you both now. How, how can I ever repay you, Miss Lexington? If you're ever in my position, I'd ask that you do the same to someone else. Also, Miss Dubois, you're welcome to smile. It is the best medicine. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Congratulations. Bye. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. 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 The moral of the story is, if you have the resources and knowledge to help someone, do so. You never know whose life you can change. Take care of each other and love thy neighbor as you love thyself. <laughs>